evening, guys, and welcome back to another Harry's Half Hour. Yep, that's two weeks in a row. Yep, I'm getting a bit more consistent, and we're hoping to keep it, keeping the train going. Today's guest, she's the inaugural Youth Girls World Champion, just at just 17 years of age. It is Miss Dynamite, Eleanor Keynes. Good evening, Eleanor. How are you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Good. Hopefully... Just going into the World Champs, obviously going to the Lakeside, it's it's such a massive venue. How was it for you going, just walking into through the doors? It was incredible. I think everyone knows the Lakeside as the home of darts. So to be to be even to qualify to play in that venue was just incredible. But to even win that game, it was just a bonus. It was incredible. Yeah, and obviously um, you did it against the Germans. Which is always good. We always <laughs> love a good bit, victory against Germany. But no, I mean, obviously, your opponent herself played really well. Um, is she team mission or is she with you at team target? Um, so sh just before we played, she got announced to be in mission. Um, but yeah, she's she played really well. Both said afterwards that we were so nervous. So there was a few couple of darts, especially from me, my personal view that. For myself, that was a bit shaky and stuff, yeah. but I'll take the win anyway. Win's a win, and obviously, <laughs> I mean, to do it really, I mean, you're following in the footsteps of people like Trina Gulliver, Lisa Ashton, yes, um, sort of legends of the ladies' game. Um, yeah. and then you know, did you get your little picture? Did you get it put up on the wall? Yeah, it was, um, hopefully that happens, but all the memories and all the pictures that were taken on like my family's phone or my phone or anywhere, they're just so great to keep and look back on in a couple of years and think, wow, like, I did that. Like, it's crazy. And, uh, and like you say, it's, you know, you're sort of one of the many people who can say you've won a world, world title on that, um, yeah. on that stage. Follow, like you say, following the footsteps of the legend, not just of the ladies' game, but obviously the men's game. You had players yeah. like Raymond Van Barneveld, obviously James Wade, Mark Webster. Yeah, all and all them type of players who have gone on to um, go into the PDC and obviously do well for themselves in the PDC. Yeah. Well, obviously, um, there was yourself, there was Bo, Bo winning the ladies at 18, which is impressive. Obviously, do you think it's something where you, where you want to be trying to inspire a generation of younger girls to come through and play? Definitely. Um, it's... That's all really you want to do, I guess, as the player, especially for myself. Even if I get even one girl wanting to play, that's amazing. Yeah, that's obviously like you say, it's it's just pushing through and even youth darts in general, it's just it's trying to inspire a generation of youth to pick up a set of darts. I mean, you look at you know, yourself from Lancashire and Bo from Yorkshire, you look at the players that they've pulled through over the years. So not just yeah. yourself, there's Amy Evans, there's Daniel Ashton. Yeah. Amy Eden was in the youth setup for Lancashire, then Yorkshire, you look at Bo. And obviously yeah. in the boys' side of things, you've got Jake Gwynn, Lewis Pride. They're, they're the lads who have pushed through into the seniors. Yeah. So, I mean, really, in terms of darts, apart from maybe the North East, and I mean, I might upset a few from the North East here, but <laughs> Yorkshire and Lancashire is, for me, the hotbed of darts. Yeah. But obviously, for me, I'm obviously I just want to take a bit of time to talk about the youth because that's where I started. It's where you started. Yeah. Uh, where like Luke and all them players started. Yeah. It's. Have you found that there's more opportunities now for the youth coming through rather than sort of maybe about six, seven years ago? I think so. Yeah, I think now that so for me, I obviously started at my academy. Uh, then I went on to do County Youth. Now they've introduced like the JDC and England Grand Prix and many other competitions that are including the youth and especially including a separate girls comp, which is amazing to see that girls and uh, they can get the recognition that they deserve and stuff. But yeah, definitely. I think it's great to have more youths because that's where they all start and then they can progress to whatever they want to achieve. Yeah, I mean, I know, like you say, I know what you say that, like you say, I started in the youth when I was about 13, 14, but yeah. even uh, most counties have pushed through various players, like us at Umberside, we've pushed players who have gone on to play for senior county, who have had yeah. tour cards, who have gone on to yeah. like, win challenge tours, has been, yeah. it's been myself and a couple of others who have gone on to the seniors. You've had Reese Robinson, who picked up his tour card a few years ago. 
yeah. like you say, you've got Luke who's 15 years of age. I mean, the kid's got, the kid's just got absolutely, he's just made different. I mean, he's 15 years old playing in a men's comp. And I, and obviously he's your be- one of your best friends, but yeah. it's, um, to go up there at 15 and win his, even win his first game, obviously he got a bit blown away by Richard Veenstra, which yeah. Luke took on the chin. It, you know, there was, up there was nothing really he could do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's amazing. And with obviously with Veenstra being, he ended up having, ended up having a good run. But yeah. you know, at fifteen years of age to go up there, yeah, it's just it just shows what bottle the kid's got. And obviously, he's been picked for England, which is an amazing achievement. Yeah. He's the youngest ever senior men's call up, and I think both uh, youngest ever female. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just goes to show. I mean. <laughs> Well, I was 15, so I was much you can scared. do. I was still scared of playing players. You know, it took me about three years after that to not be scared. Yeah. You see it now all the time with players playing with no fear, obviously yourself and look going up on a stage like Lakeside and just doing what you do. Yeah. It's so impressive. And obviously you're, you're together at Team Target, aren't you? Yeah. That must, I mean, how proud was it when you got the call saying you'd been signed for the Target Youth set up? Yeah, that was, I just won my proper first title, actually. I won the British, I think it was the classic youth, the girls bit. It was either classic or open. Um, And after that one, when I got home, that's when my dad told me that I got picked tight. And that was just one of my dreams. But I never thought that I'd achieve it. Then when I got the call, all the emotions and stuff, it was amazing. And then... When it got announced and I could tell Luke, Luke was just so made up. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, you've got such a lovely bond with Luke. and Yeah. It's it's great to see, in a way, you're like his big sister then. Definitely, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's sort of like with you as well. It's like, you always seem to be playing Amy Evans as well. Is Amy going to be one of them, do you reckon, where she's going to be pushing through eventually? Definitely. She's, so, she's such a good player. She's got a head very focused as well on what she wants to do. And she's playing amazing. She's consistent. Um, but we always do play each other. And it's, do you know what? It's always, I'm so glad to play her all the time because it's going to be a good game. Yeah. And we both know that. And it can go either way. Um, but yeah, she's definitely going to be the one to watch, I think, in the youth now. Definitely. And obviously, like, it's, like you say, it always seems to be you two pushing in your uh, pairs partners as well, aren't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, so in the mix, usually me and Luke go together. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the ladies, I'd be honoured to play, play with Amy. Um, she's such a good hers partner because she's such a good player and such a nice girl as well. That's what you want in a player. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, obviously, taking it back to the start you were saying about the Darts Academy. Yeah. So how old was you when you actually first started playing the sport? Um, I was around 10-ish and I actually only played at the academy for a, a little bit before I got called to county youth actually. Got county, I got called to county youth when I was about 11, 12 so I wasn't actually playing long before I got called. Um, but yeah the academy is such a great way to start off I think just for little competitions or practice just to get your you were about but even the social side you can make friends for life like yeah. that's what I've done as well yeah I mean I've always said I, the thing I love about darts is the social side of things obviously yeah definitely friends up and down the country from ranging from Scotland yeah. all the way down to Wales yeah. so it's it is it is such a lovely sport obviously you do get the odd person where you know yeah. Yeah. being a bit you know well but you're always going to meet people like that in all walks of life. Um, yeah. And you definitely get it, especially when you're at a big darts competition. There's always going to be someone yeah. there trying to upset someone else or trying to upset you, etc. Yeah. But um, do you remember the first ever set of darts you owned? I'm pretty sure they were Barney's, actually. I can't remember which ones, but I knew they were Barney's and I think they were about 26 grams. They were quite heavy, I think. Yeah. Um. I've had a I've had a couple of changes through, but always stick to rounds like 
the 26 to 24 mark i'm using now phil taylor's uh, phase one unicorn yeah. Uh, 24 grams I think they're 24 or 24 23 but yeah they were the first art to use them they were actually from my uncle um who gave them to me and they seem to work so that's it if it works stick with it if it works it works I think I think my first set of darts was uh, from Argos and then from oh the, nice I've, I've sort of just chopped and changed but I've got a set yeah. that I'm sort of happy with at the minute so it's a thing with darts, it, it's one of them, if it feels right and it works, just stick with it. Just, yeah, you know, you might I, don't, as well. I don't understand the one thing that lines me up is players who constantly change the darts and hey, yeah. you're constantly watching the Premier League on a Thursday and you just you just know Peter Wright's going to have a new set of darts. And you just yeah, and like, yeah, you're like, expecting it, yeah. But um, obviously moving away from the darts, is there any other sports you have an interest in? Obviously being from St Helens, is rugby league a big part of your sort of family? Um, it definitely is for my brother and dad. Not so certain for me, um, but I do watch it sometimes. It's nice to always see that uh, we're doing well. Yeah, it gets boring after a while, though. <laughs> I know, I know uh, Luke was a bit upset on Monday. Obviously, I'm a yeah. lovely fan and we did a job on Warren and then in a bit of a, bit of a controversial <laughs> way, but um, I'll take the win all day long. <laughs> Yeah, is there anything else, football, or is there any other sports? Unfortunately not, no, not for me. Definitely for my brother and dad. My brother supports Wigan Athletic, my dad supports Liverpool. Um, I don't support anywhere, I'm just around, around anywhere, but usually I do other stuff when football's on, because I don't think I can sit through 90 minutes of it. <laughs> I blame you. 90 minutes of uh, passing it around the back and diving on the floor. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, it's like I say in all my videos, because it was obviously I started filming through lockdown. Um, mm -hmm. Netflix was a big part of the first lockdown initially. Is there any yeah. series you sort of like to binge watch? Oh, um, into Vampire Diaries at the moment. Um, Riverdale. Um, I love anything like baking wise as well. That's always like cooking shows. Is it cake? Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, I love that show. Um, but yeah, the, I like the Chicago Fires and the Chicago PD and the Chicago Med. But I love as well Grey's Anatomy. That is great. Which yeah. one is that one? Is that the hospital one? Yeah, that's the hospital one, yeah. Yeah, because I know there's a couple. There's Grey's Anatomy and then there's Scrubs as well. Yeah, there's I, a, a few different ones. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, Netflix for me, I'll binge watch series i have comfort series so uh, brooklyn nan nan big bang theory friends oh friends is another one right. i've seen friends about a hundred times but yeah, I still I laugh can... at every episode yeah i know a lot of people watching the video they're going oh friends is rubbish got, got a laugh track but opinion yeah. my opinion and i like it yeah. and i could sit there and quote me about me emma and my friend jess we could we'll be sat down and then all of a sudden someone will drop a friend's quote out nowhere literally but um no I, I, I do like i like obviously amazon as well amazon prime you've got all the sport documentaries which obviously i'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take an interest in is amazon prime something you have as well or is it just the netflix probably for me just the netflix uh, but i know my brother he loves all the sport stuff yeah. and so, so they kind of big influence on that but for me it's usually netflix is mine is there any um coming to sort of music now is there any guilty pleasures of music you have oh i'm a person who likes now music but also likes like like whitney michael jackson bit of wham like i like everything really yeah I'm, to be fair i'm the same although i'd say my guilty pleasure would be john mendes oh Interesting. Um, I am partial to a bit of Shawn Mendes, to be fair. Love I'll a bit get, of Shawn Mendes. I might get ripped for that, but I don't care. Although, can't beat I do sort of like, every so often I'll be, I'll be at work and the radio will be on and they'll have a throwback play and I'll be thinking, oh, yeah, a bit of a chill. Whereas yeah. when I was a kid listening to it, I'd be going, oh no. Yeah, what is this? Yeah. So I'll have a bit, get my groove onto it. Um, <laughs> Obviously, with this now, what I like to do is I always like to have a little quick fire round with the, okay. with the guests. So I'll sort of give you an option. 
So, for example, it, obviously, you've just turned 18, so I won't give you an alcoholic option. <laughs> Although, did you have a good 18th anyway? I did, yeah, it was very good. My party's on Friday, so that's exciting. Oh, uh, if you don't remember it, it's a good 18th. If yeah. You, yeah, if you, if you remember it, not so good, but if you don't remember <laughs> what happened, you've definitely had a good night. Yeah. Um, so obviously I'll start off with just quick fires. Um, start um, off with this or that, and then I'll ask you different questions, and then it's just whatever comes straight to mind. So KFC or McDonald's? McDonald's. Yeah. Ever since KFC changed the chips. Yeah. Nah, ruined it. Pepsi or Coke? Neither. Ooh. That might be controversial, but I do not like either. Tea or coffee? Neither. I don't like hot drinks. And this is going to get so Oh my God. This is like, this is where your followers start dropping. She doesn't like <laughs> tea or coffee. She doesn't like hot drinks. She's not, pro- she's not a proper Brit. <laughs> Film or TV series? TV series. Friends or Big Bang Theory? Friends. Favourite darts player of all time? Oh my goodness. I think I'd have to say Lisa Rashton. Yeah, Lancashire Rose, Lancashire legend. Yeah. Overall legend. Literally. Um, Favourite walk on? Ooh. I think probably Peter Wright's because it's so iconic. Yeah. I think I remember it was in my second to last season at County Youth. I think I... Um, You've played, obviously, Tyne and Weir, haven't you? Yeah. Um, me and Pete Allen at Tyne and Weir did the dance on stage. <laughs> he said it was his last. It was the last home game, so he said he's, he's got a walk on in mind, and it came on. <laughs> we have to do it here. The, the video's up somewhere. Best mate in darts? Luke. And then, obviously, female would be Amy. Yeah. We'll put that in there just so she doesn't get upset. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting upset. And the Premier League darts winner prediction. I say Van Gogh. I had Dave Ladley on last week. He said Johnny Clayton, which is, to be fair, is a good shout. Clayton would be my second, probably. I'm liking his stuff at the minute. The one yeah. player actually going off is Gary Anderson. I just, I don't like him. He, he's, um, he's. I don't know. He seems to um, seem to not. I don't know. He seems to always say something. Yeah, if he loses, it's sort of someone yeah. was stepping over the mark or yeah, something going on. Like with Joe Cullen the other week, I'd hope get what that was about. Yeah, I didn't even get it, but because he sort of shook hands and then all of a sudden he's turned wrong. It was like, and I was like, "Whoa, like, what's yeah, happened?" Yeah, I did. I was watching. It was good. Like, like, what's just happened? Did I, I miss something? I so confused. But that is the end of the questions and that is the end of the interview. I'd like to obviously thank my guest, Eleanor, for coming on. Um, no problem. If you like what you see, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content. Thank you and good night.